Hey everyone, welcome to the show. Normally I do a five minute countdown timer, but we're running a little bit late and apologies if you were expecting it at uh, at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're doing it an hour late to accommodate for our guest who is in uh, a different time zone where it's early. So uh, appreciate everyone joining. Please do say hi in the chat if you are here live. You'll see a, a running chat on the right hand side. And as always, if you're watching the replay, great to have you here. And if you've got any questions about Koala Go um, for Xavier or myself, uh, please leave them in the comments of the video. And I get back to all my comments and would love to see who's watching and what questions you have about this online classroom. So we've got Facebook user. Hello, hello. If you're on Facebook, yeah, you can actually authorize Facebook to uh, show your name at facebook.com forward slash StreamYard so I can say hi to you. Uh, hey, Jordan, good to have you. And um, yeah, it's uh, been a busy day over here for me in Thailand. Uh, the launch course went live today and uh, have uh, a lot of awesome teachers who are building their independent teaching business. If you missed out on that, you can still head over to onlineteacherdo.com forward slash enroll, and it will direct you to a waitlist page. Um, you can just put in your name and email, and when the course goes live again, I will notify you, and I uh, would love to let you know that uh, we're going live again. So we've got the Mountain Martins. Hello, hello. I don't think I've seen you in the chat before. Welcome. You must have a YouTube channel, it sounds like. <laughs> hey, Shelly. Uh, hey, Becky, good to have you as well. What's up, UK? What's up, my dude? Good to have you as well. Hey, Masangu, a faithful viewer of the channel. Really appreciate you coming in as well. Um, so yeah, if you are watching live, we've got over 20. Feel free to hit the like button um, of the video, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. Really helps the channel, helps other online teachers to see this show. And if you're not a subscriber, as I always say, it doesn't cost you anything and it means the world to me. So hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll get notified when I make future videos and when I go live, which is normally at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Mondays, where we talk about all things online teaching. Lately, it's been focused on independent teaching because that's the world that I'm living in and, and doing a lot of support and coaching with other teachers. But from time to time, I also do talk about companies as they come across my radar and really want to bring you uh, valuable content and uh, companies that are worth looking at and exploring if that's the type of online teaching that you're doing, as well as topics related to independent teaching. If you're venturing off on your own, wanting to build that teaching business that you've always thought about, uh, where you can charge higher rates than what you get paid with companies and be in control of all the aspects of it. But anyway, it's good to have everybody here. Uh, and somebody from Cambodia, Huibra Van Art. Maybe I'm not pronouncing your name correctly, but welcome to you. Okay, we'll get started with the show. We're talking about Koala Go. And before I bring up one of the founders, uh, Xavier, I wanted to let you know sort of how it came across my radar. Um, when I was starting independent teaching, I got, uh, I was using Zoom, you know, actually 10 years ago when I had my very first student, I was using Skype and a uh, pretty old school way of doing it. And we also used WeChat video. And then I was using Zoom and you know through the pandemic, uh, Zoom really exploded as a, as a tool to use. But Zoom is not really built for online learning and it's not uh, an online classroom with features that a lot of us teachers are looking for to use with our students. Um, when I really went full swing with a lot of my students after the platforms collapsed, I was exploring a platform called TubiLive. I was using them for about six weeks uh, then I shifted over to class in and about two or three months ago, I started to hear about Koala Go. I think it was called Koala and they all talked to Xavier about um, the development of it. Um, but it's become a popular online classroom for independent teachers uh, because of its engagement with students, uh, how interactive it is. And one of the unique features that I really like that a lot of the platforms don't have is that dual control that the student can have over interactive elements on your curriculum. If you're using like a web-based curriculum and you've got draggable things and stuff like that. So um, we're gonna talk all about that um, in just a moment. So let me just check and make sure that Xavier is good to go. Yes, perfect. Welcome to the show. Hi everyone. 
Hey, Big Jim, here. thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. Um, thank you for getting up early. I know it's early where you are. <laughs> I know it's late where well, you are. And is it a holiday where you are as well? It's the, it's a holiday today, yes. It is a holiday. Ah, okay. What's the holiday? Today is... Is it Memorial Day today? Ah, uh, Memorial Day, of course. Yes, I do remember now. Um, yeah. It's it's not a holiday here in Thailand, so I sort of... And I'm not American. I don't know if that's just an American holiday or not, but... Where are you from, Tim? Uh, I'm from Bermuda originally. And then my mom's Canadian and my dad was British. So I have three passports, but I'm, I would say I'm Canadian. That's usually what I say. Got it. Yeah. But uh, Bermudian born, grew up there and then moved to Canada and then moved overseas. So most people say I have a pretty like neutral North American accent. So I get mistaken for American all the time. Yeah, and you? I the same. Uh, I'm from France and moved to France, the US okay. about 10 years ago, moved to California and never came okay. back home. Never went back. Okay. Wow. That's right. Cool. So where do you live in California? Uh, a little bit south of San Francisco. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So you are, introduce yourself, please, to everybody. Uh, yeah. You so are hello, everyone. Company. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I see that. So good morning and good evening to some of you. Good afternoon. So I'm Xavier. Uh, it's technically pronounced Xavier in French, but Xavier? I'll answer okay. to Xavier, Xav, Javier, um, yeah. anything works. Yeah. Um, and I am uh, from France. I grew up mostly in Paris and moved, as I was saying, to California 10 years ago. And I gotcha. founded Koala with a really good friend of mine. His name is Ben, four years ago. Okay. So um, what is Koala? So Koala is a, I guess you introduced it really well a few minutes ago, Tim, saying that Zoom okay, was skip a that question. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. So, so Zoom is, we think Zoom is a really great tool for adults. We don't think that it is the right tool for independent online teachers to teach young students. And that's what Koala is. Right. So it's like a Zoom alternative. It's a online classroom. Um, and we'll get into some of the features. But I wanted to just hear about, like, uh, so you founded it four years ago. And what's the development of it looked like up until now, where I know you've got sort of a product called Koala Go, uh, yep. which is a product under the Koala umbrella, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So uh, the origin of Koala is when we started four years ago, we were actually trying to build a platform for independent online teachers and tutors who work with kids with learning differences, especially okay. kids with dyslexia. I don't know how much uh, you guys know about dyslexia, but it's kids who are struggling at reading and writing, but who have tons of strength that are often overlooked in multi-sensory learning and, and um, some fantastic episodic memory. So we designed a teaching platform that was more aligned with their learning style. And it was more, it felt a little bit like Minecraft. Mm. Much more immersive. You have an avatar, you move around, you can touch things and move them around. It's more colorful, so much more child-friendly. And then... 2019, the pandemic hits, and we start having a wave of kids who do not have the dyslexic learning neurological profile, but you know, completely uh, neurotypical kids who start being attracted to um, to Koala because Zoom is not really working well for them. It's not engaging uh, young students online. So we started opening up Koala to every profile, and we're now really focusing on independent online teachers who are teaching any topic, ESL, math, uh, history, geography, you name it. Anything can be taught in Koala today. Okay, wonderful. So um, my next question would be, what is Koala Go and why would Koala Go be a good fit for independent teachers, maybe specifically in, in the Chinese market? Can, can yeah. you talk a little bit about the features of Koala Go? And I'll make you big, but I'm still here. So go for 
sharing about, yeah, what Koala Go is, is what I'm hearing a lot of teachers talking about and what yeah. are the features there that make it great for independent teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think um, a picture is worth a thousand words. So I guess a little live demo is worth a million words. So maybe we can, we can move sh shortly to this. But in sure. a few words, we've designed, for the last four years, we've been designing a product by listening to you guys, to independent online teachers. So we launched initially a version that was really bad. And then a lot of our users told us, this is really bad, but please add this. And then please add this. This is great, but could you fix this? So Koala is a product that is the result of a collaboration with online teachers for more than three years now. The, to be more specific, we will have a whiteboard, a collaborative whiteboard, very standard. You have a shared browser, also called a co-browser, that allows you to open any web content, such as Genially, Wordwall, um, or any kind of web content. And you can interact with your students in real time. You can drag and drop components. Your students, if they open Koala on their iPad, can drag and drop components of your Genially slide. We're the only platform in the world that allows you to do this. So that's and what finally, I was, yeah, that's what I was talking about with what sets it apart. And yeah. I think is one of the real selling features, um, what you guys are offering right now. A lot of teachers are, you know, getting started, just they want something really simple. They're comfortable with Zoom, but they quickly realize that you know, while it provides maybe the basic video and audio functions and, you know, a kind of clunky screen share a little bit and a whiteboard, but it's not easy to get to sometimes. And some of the tools are really, like you say, built for adults, for sure. Um, not really user-friendly for the, for kids. And yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that, 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 what do you call it? Dual remote control or dual, dual... Um. What's the proper yeah. word I was trying to Sh Shared control. Um, shared control. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, for yeah. those that are watching, and I've talked about online ESL curricula before, and a lot of online ESL curricula has that interactive feature where you can drag things around. If you worked for companies, you're well aware of what I'm talking about. Um, and so that's what Koala Go offers. Like right now, I'm using Class In, and it it doesn't allow that. So that's that's one feature that a lot of teachers wish that other platforms had. So that's that's really awesome that um, and, you guys have that. And, and Tim, sorry to interrupt, but would it be possible to ask everybody here in the community to leave a comment if they're using uh, Genially or WordWall content when they're teaching their online classes? I'm really curious. Yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so um, yeah, share in the chat if you're watching, what are you using for your online curriculum? Um, Genially, if you're using, I know that um, Crystal Clear has is using Genially. Flip the Classroom is, um, I'm not completely Abridge sure. Abridge Academy, Learnaling. Abridge Academy is Learnaling. Right. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, Fantastic let us know ESL content what you're using. Genially. Now a lot of um, my audience, you know, are former platform teachers or yep. were teaching Chinese students and things like that. And yep. probably the question many would have is, what's it like? using it in China? Because obviously you're not based in China. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, so I would say 50% of our community are teaching kids in China on a daily basis. So we've designed it to work with the Chinese internet, whether the student has a VPN or not. Uh, Koala is 100% compatible with students in China. Okay. So um, I'm, doing, I'm doing a little bit of like a uh, flip and screen yes. here. To keep, see, keep, keep everyone engaged, but sorry. It's <laughs> keeping me on um, my toes. <laughs> yeah. um, so with, uh, so stability is, is good? Like what yeah. would you say? Is good? So, okay. uh, so stability, stability is, is great. Um, it is not perfect. Um, in China, we've, we often run into some internet connections that are really, unstable um and so we were you know working really hard so you know 99 percent of 99 percent of the scenarios it works great but in that one percent there's some tricks when the, the internet completely stops or some packets are being are blocked etc so we keep con continuously improving um usage for chinese students one thing that we have in koala and i'll show that during the demo 
in the bottom right, you have a little help icon. And Koala, we're a small team, we're 10 people, but we are, there's always one person from our team that's on the other end of this. So if you run into any issue while using Koala, click on the little help icon in the bottom right and shoot us a message, we'll respond live. Cool. Uh, that is one thing that I, I was impressed with. The support seems really awesome. Um, Shelly's okay. saying, I plan on using Crystal Clear. Yeah, so that's uh, Genially. Okay. Yep. Hey, Fraser, what's up, man? Um, I use no interactive content. My lessons are 100% conversation focused. Would your platform be useful for me? Yeah. So whatever Zoom can do, you know, and what, you know, the video, the, the, the audio, et cetera, Koala can do as well. So that Koala is absolutely a good fit for you. Mm. Okay. Cool. Uh, Colin, I gave up teaching kids online mainly because of the problem Koala Go solves. Not sure what that one means. Not sure. So you are teaching online, Colin? Um, cost. Okay. Let's get into Koala Go. So what is the cost for Koala Go? And then what we'll do is we'll jump into Koala Classroom and, and take a look and show yeah. because really, is, honestly, I like, it's really impressive. It's really cool. Um, so it, it knocks the socks off of like a lot of what I've seen. So I'm excited to Thank show so that. Much. Um, and yeah, so you know, while you're talking about that, just so you know, you need to share the screen again and I'll be able to pop it up. So if you want to do that while you're talking, um, then we won't oh, have any You're time. asking me to multitask here, Tim. I'm not sure I'm able I'm to do this. <laughs> um, yeah, so cost, uh, so I'll show you, it will make more sense after the demo, but Koala has a free version and a, a, a premium version. In the free version, you have unlimited calls, wait, like, no 40 minute limit, unlimited calls with as many students as you want. That's in the free version. In the premium version, you get on top of it, the co-browser, which allows mm. you to open web content and interact with it. The reason we charge for this is that to run the shared browser, the co-browser, it costs us a lot of money to run it into a third party server. Um, that's why we need to charge for it. The price is, 15 per month if you pay, take the annual plan, 19 per month if you take uh, month by month. Okay. Reasonable. I mean, especially if you're, you know, 15 a month, that's sort of what Zoom costs, I think, if you were to pay for that. And class in can be more expensive depending on how many classes you teach. So, yeah. Cool. All right. Let's jump in. Can you... Um, Share the screen there, and I'll just be yes. Looking I was I, mis I miserably failed at multitasking. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just okay. a man. No so, problem at all. Uh, can you see my screen? Hey there? Heather, good to have you. Long time no see, my friend. Thanks for exposing yet another great tool for online teachers. Yes. Hey Heather. Uh, Tim, can you confirm that you can see my screen? Yes, I can. So I just need to control it here and bring it up. Okay, go for it. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, so I'll give you a quick five minute demo of Koala. I encourage you, if you are in front of your computer, to follow those steps. Step one, we're going to open Google Chrome and type teach with Koala, without typo, if possible, dot com. That's teach with Koala dot com. And you're going to end on this page and you can click on this big button here, open Koala Go in browser. Once you're here, you can either type an email and sign in or click on the Google icon and select any email address. And that's it. You're in. It's that simple. Okay. Wow. Okay. So no so app to part... download. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Tim. This is sort of the whiteboard interface when you go in. Exactly. Exactly. So very simple here so far. Nothing crazy. You have a little a set of icons at the bottom, a cursor, a drawing tool, an eraser, sticky notes. text boxes, go. So right. nothing, nothing crazy uh, on this side. 
is an interactive whiteboard. To invite okay. your students, oh, sorry, you had a question, Tim? No, you're good. Cool. To invite a student, it's very easy. You see this big yellow button in the top left, click on that. And it will say, share this link with your students. And it gives you this one link here. This link never changes. It is always the same link that you send to your students to join. So you simply click on it. It will say, copy to clipboard. And you can send that to anybody and they, your student click on it, whether they're on iPad, on Chromebooks, PC, Mac, they will immediately join. And you'll see a little pop-up at the bottom right that says, um, your, your student wants to join, admit or reject. Okay. Let me see if I can do StreamYard video and Koala video at the same time. Yes, seems to work. There you go. Cool. So you have this video panel on the left, and as soon as your student join, you'll have their video will show up right underneath yours here. And Send me the you link. Can make it be. Oh yeah, sounds good. I don't know if that will work. Let's see. Send it into the uh, private chat here. Sounds good. There you go. Um, so while I'm looking at this here. Um, what uh, show show some of the um, the playground stuff because that looked really cool when I was looking at it. Yeah, absolutely. So here uh, I just got a pop up. You see, as Tim was trying to join, I'm going to mute in Koala Go and Tim. If you don't if you don't mind doing the same thing in the top yes. left here. Uh, okay, there we go. Very good, um, Tim. If you don't mind, I'm going to show the shared browser real quick, and then I'll show playground. Sure. Yeah. Go I ahead. Know that you're mostly interested in playground. <laughs> So um, of course, this you, you have um, option to screen share here, share screen. I'm not going to walk you through this. You know how screen sharing works. It's very similar to Zoom. The one thing that ESL content creator and ESL independent teachers told us is that when their students are on iPad, if they use web content, they were not able to drag and drop components. And interaction mm -hmm. is so important for you to engage your uh, online students, especially if they're young. So we created this shared browser. Um, so here my student is Tim and Tim is in Asia. So I'm going to choose Asia here. Um, and while this is loading, this is giving us a shared browser that Tim can see. And I am not, sorry, I'm not going to admit more students right now. Uh, in order for you to join, um, so in order for you to use the browser, you can type anything here. So if you wanna go to your word wall content, just type the, put the URL here in this shared browser and that will allow the, the students- But it will also look like the around. shared browser was also working with the whiteboard. Like I could move things around on the whiteboard as well, right? Anything that's created in there. You can move that's around. That's right. Yeah, that's right. But if you have like a curriculum like Abridge or Crystal Clear or Flip the Classroom, those elements will be something that you can move around. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. Cool. So here I'm going to do a demo with a word wall random wheel game. Okay. Sorry, Ben, I'm going to reject you as well. <laughs> Looks like uh, our my classroom link. Uh, leaked a little bit here and we have more people joining. Okay. Um, yeah, Fraser says, so, nice, simple UI, I like it. So many online whiteboards are over complex with unnecessary things. Yeah, so true. Uh, Chrome, exactly. is Chrome the best browser to use or does it not matter? Yeah, Chrome is better, Chrome is better, yeah. Okay. And here, so in order to give control to Tim, I just go to control here and then go to you and Tim. And now Tim is able to use, to spin the wheel as well. Oh yeah, awesome. awesome, there we go. Okay, first one to the say sound is shared. <laughs> <laughs> so the sound is shared. So Tim is hearing the sound, I'm hearing the sound. You can even watch YouTube videos if you want. Okay. And you also have an annotation tool built in, by the way, you, that you can use as well, Tim. So here, okay. uh, it's me here, but you can also, uh, Tim should also be able to uh, draw here. Very good. I can oh, okay. erase all as a teacher and I can say done. And once I say done, 
um, team is not able to control uh, draw anymore. I'll okay. say real quick that we have built on our website, we have built a marketplace of contents. Mm. So you can go to teachwithkoala.com slash go marketplace and you'll find tons of online tutors' favorite activities for math. That they've created. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Created by, created by creators, exactly. Other teachers like you, for the most part, history, yep. Spanish. So you select your subject. You select your format. You want koala activities or word wall, boom cards, pink cat games, genially, utility. All those things will open. Will open. Mm. And you can simply, um, let's say I want some genially content. How to make an amazing ice cream. Yes. Click on open. It will immediately open in the browser. Okay. Awesome. So now this is a genially slide. Let's see if it's, it has some interactive component that we can drag and drop to demo uh, the drag and drop. Maybe not this one. I feel bad. I'm going to keep rejecting students here because I want to keep it very intimate with just Tim and me on this one. Who's trying to join? Um, the latest one was Mike Hunt. With some are, are they some seeing the like, link uh, to join? Is that why? Yes, I think. Yeah, maybe you, I posted it in the comments or something like this instead of the private chat. Okay. <laughs> or not sure. No, it's actually in a private chat to me, but I think that they okay. are seeing. I, yeah, it's a it's a private chat. That's strange. Oh, because so, they can see the they can see the the URL there. That's why. Got it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you because know, I screen shared. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, so you have access. So I encourage you to go check out this marketplace. There's tons of free content. There's also a way for creators to monetize their content. If you want to create content and publish it on the Koala Go marketplace, you can monetize your creations as you should. Um, okay, cool. That's it for the, the shared browser. All right. Love it. And we'll show the playground real quick. And then yeah, we'll end with a few part now. specific questions. And then uh, we'll... Uh, bid farewell. So that's great. Let's see. Good. Does it have a progressive curriculum for ESL or just different activities? Yeah. I'm assuming it's just different activities, right? Yeah. Uh, so today it's different activities, but let's say if you want the Abridge Academy or, or Crystal Clear, I heard Crystal Clear earlier. Just type Crystal okay. Clear. So are you hosting some curriculum there? Uh, yes, exactly. And then you'll you'll see you'll see all the content um, from from those different creators, um, Average Academy. So you'll see there's different units, different levels. Yeah. Ah, okay. And you pay for those. Uh, and those are free. Oh, they've got some that are free. I see. She's got like free exactly. units there. Okay. Yeah, and it's mostly free to content website. today on the marketplace. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Okay, cool. So now uh, we told you right. We're, we designed Koala for young students. So we built a bunch of really cool features such as confettis and stars, and there's a little sound animation when you do this. But we've also built something that's uh, Tim's favorite piece of Koala is Playground. So if you, you can open We're probably pretty uh, hilarious names. I to ask me. Too much at the same time here. It's stuck on 34. Oh, okay, okay. I see it. I see it on your end, though. Yeah, I see. I think it's a lot of my bandwidth to upload on StreamYard and run this. But yeah, um, can, can you see my screen, Tim? Uh, Tim? Yeah, I'm kind of. We're we're both sort of frozen. Okay, good, good. Um, I think actually now it's loading. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on 34. percent So that's okay. Maybe you can just explain it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll explain it that way. So. Um, Tim, can you still see my screen? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. So once I am here in playground, I have a little avatar that I can customize and I can put skin tones and cheeks and lips and I can edit my glass style and hairstyle, et cetera. So your students are really going to love this. And once you're done, you can click on check mark here and then run around. And it's very simple right now. You collect seeds. And once you have seeds, they will show up in the top left and you can plant trees. So the okay, goal just to here... be like, a, a, like for this sort of thing, where do teachers use this? Because most of us like would have a jam-packed lesson, right? So yeah. you see this as like brain breaks or 
like maybe yeah. in between classes or like a so, reward or something like that? It's kind of up to you. Um, it's a brain break and a reward for most teachers. But for me, so for instance, I teach French in Koala mm. every Thursday. It's, it turns out to be some of the most productive language teaching moments because there's mm. so much immersion here. Your student will have an avatar and you can say, come closer to this egg, turn to the left, turn to the mm. right, look at this little squirrel, come this yeah. way. So you can have a lot of conversation that re replicates yeah. some real immersion scenario that are super valuable for language teaching. Yeah, cool. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to um, yeah, remove I'm gonna this. There we are. Sharing. So I like that because I was sort of thinking like, what's the, you know, how could you sort of, you know, you have a 25 minute lesson. I mean, there's not a lot of time to sort of like run around and collect seeds on a playground when you're trying to right. work through a curriculum. But I can see how like that could be really fun. Well, not only fun, but, you know, educational too. So very cool. It's educational. And um, like, let, if I take one step back, the goal for us, for Koala, is to make you live, uh, you know, independent online teachers financially successful so that you can buy, one day buy a home doing what you love. That's the goal of Koala. That's everything we do is for that to happen. And we've realized that playground, doing a little playground session with your student gets them so excited about coming to their next class the next week and the next class the day after. And their parents don't have to drag them in front of the computer thanks to playground. That's gotcha. the goal. The goal of playground is to give you student retention, increase okay. significantly your retention. Cool. And uh, scheduling. So you don't schedule, you just have one link and that goes to the students and that's how they get in. So. You Correct. do your own scheduling wherever you want. Um, does Koala do any payments? Yes, payments? you can invoice um, uh, where, whichever your country is. If you're in South Africa or any country that's not supported by uh, Stripe, you can oh, invoice okay. parents. So, yeah, I heard this. This is why I wanted to ask you. So a South African teacher who can't get on Stripe can use Koala Go's payment invoicing system to Correct. use with Chinese students, and you just tack on... A percentage exactly exactly uh we'll ask so you, you have a stripe business account how do you do that exactly Google that's it. right we we have a stripe business account if you're in south africa we'll just ask you for your paypal handle for instance and we'll invoice the parents using our stripe account and receive the money and then paypal you the teacher do you have like support like a teamwork like someone that's like solely responsible for that is that like um i mean yeah. Okay, I could see that being a big job. It's a, it's a handful, yes. yes yeah. Okay, and what are the costs for that? Um, the cost is, so we there is a fee of 4.5% 4, 4 for Koala, uh, plus the Stripe fee uh, on top of that. Okay, so it can be, it's costly. I mean, when it, when it adds up, it can be. If, if, so it's, but it's, a, it's, a, it's an option if, Someone's really it's, struggling. It's fully optional. It's fully optional. Yeah. It allows you to provide uh, professional invoices for your parents, and it's all integrated into your tutoring platform. And you pay to PayPal? Yeah, and we pay. We, we cover the fees with that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So about, yeah, it can be about eight seven point nine percent right? Yeah. So you'll see uh, in the top more. right in Koala, you'll see there's, you go to the menu, and then you go to send invoice. And you can do, do a test. You can set any number, and we'll, we're extremely transparent with the fees, so you'll see how much it is. Um, okay. And, and uh, before before you send invoice, can you lock the classroom so that other people can't try to join? Uh, so today, no, you have to manually reject. But after today, I'm thinking that this is now a, a, a feature that we need to add. <laughs> yes. <laughs> gotcha. Um, were you able to get around the PayPal fee for receiving payments outside? of the US. Were you able to get around the PayPal fee for receiving payments outside of the US? I'm not sure I understand, Leah. Are you able to get around the PayPal fee for receiving pay? Because you, well, you would receive, there is a PayPal fee, right? We, we would cover the PayPal fee, Leah. Okay, so okay. it's all included. So go to Koala, go to the top right in the menu, click on send invoice, and you can put any type of amount we will ask you what is the origin country and the destination country and we'll give you a full list of the of the fees and you'll have um you'll see exactly how much it is yeah yeah good comment carolyn they love interactive online games yeah um okay so 
we talked about pricing. We talked about the the link. Um, onboarding the student is really easy. It's just a link, right? There's no registration or anything like that. No That's email right. login for them or anything. Okay, I like that. Just a link to click uh, on. Just a link. Okay, and support while you're having issues in class. There's someone dedicated to that. I know you have a Facebook group as well. Is it called yeah. Koala Family? Koala Teachers Family? Koala exactly. Go? Koala okay. Teachers Family. I can put the okay. link in the comments. Okay, great. And I'll try to remember to go and in back into the video and do that. Um, yes, Katie's here. Huge Koala fan. Hello, hello. Um, okay, so the Facebook, I will just, yeah, I'll just add this into the, the public comments as well. Um, Fraser's asking, is there a trial so I can test it out with my students before committing? Yes. 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 Yep. So uh, can do it for two weeks. For two weeks. Yeah, two week trial where you have access to all the features, all the coffee. Okay. And like, you know, I'm sort of a channel of resources, right? Like I don't really sell myself self out to any one particular thing, but um, explore what's out there. You know, this looks really cool. And I believe in what you guys are doing and wish you all the best. And yeah, can't wait to see it get even better, you know, in the future. So would love to Absolutely. keep in touch with you about how it's all going. And the links to join the websites down below, the Facebook community is in the chat and I'm in that as well. So I see, you know, the good things that are happening there and people really love it. So that's, that's good. And a testament to you guys for creating this great uh, platform. Thank um, you. And we're only, you know, we're, we're not perfect. There's still a lot that we can, that we can improve. So we're counting sure. on you to keep us on our toes, to keep, you know, to go, don't go easy on us. Let us know things that we can do to make your, your online teacher job even easier and we'll do it for you. Yeah, I think that's great. Um, there is no perfect anything, right? I mean, there's going to be things that you don't like about Koala Go or the things that you do, things that you don't like about Zoom, don't like about class and do like about class. And I mean, you know, that's what makes us all unique, right? Not, there's not a, a one size fits all. Yeah. So very good. Is there anything else, Xavier, that we you wanted to throw in there about Koala or we'll um, bid farewell on your holiday? No, that's it. That's it. Thank you so much okay. for having me, Tim. And thank you for everyone for everyone's attention. You're very welcome. And thanks for coming on. I appreciate your time and uh, have a great Memorial Day. Thanks for getting up early again. Of course. See you, everyone. Thank you, Xavier. Bye. Thanks, everybody, for joining uh, this chat about a new, uh, well, not really new, but new online classroom that um, a lot of independent teachers are excited about. So feel free to check them out. And if you've got any questions after the video or you're watching the replay, shoot them in the comments there and we'll get the answers to you. So thanks again, wherever you are in the world. If you're in the US, it's a holiday, so enjoy your holiday. Happy teaching, and I will see you next Monday for, a, uh, for another live. And uh, uh, as you know, stay safe, and uh, I will talk to you later. Take care, everyone.